Hello, in this video we will look at the skeletal system, which uh, is the system of the bones. And we have many different types of bones in our body, with all shapes and sizes. We have flat bones, such as the sternum. We have irregular bones, such as the vertebrae. We have short bones, um, where, which are the carpal bones in the hands. We have sesamoid bones, such as our patella, kneecap. And long bones, such as the humerus. Bones are hard, as we know. However, if you look at the humerus here, the inside of the bone is actually not as hard. This is the spongy bone, which um, is trabecular bone, making up the inner bone. It is the compact bone that is dense. It's the dense bone, made up of osteons. This is the outer bone. The long bone, such as the humerus, has have different sections. So the very ends of the long bone is the epiphyses, then the metaphyses, which separate the ends of the long bone to the center of the bone. Now the center of the bone, the bone shaft, is called the diaphyses. The inside of the bone, the center of the bone, should I say, can be hollow, and this is the medulla, which can contain bone marrow. Let's look at another example. Let's look at the flat bone, such as the sternum here. But let's mainly look inside the manubrium, which is the top part of the sternum. Just like the long bone, the outside is, is the compact bone, the hard one, and the center, the, more, the inside of the bone, is the spongy bone, which is the trabeculated bone. So I hope you get an appreciation that there is Compact, their spongy bone. Let us cut a cross section of the humerus. The hollow center here, the cavity, is the medulla. There are many cells that actually make up the bone, which play an important role, not only in making the bone strong and to keep for to help us with posture and movement, but the cells within the bones are very important in the homeostatic. Uh, levels, you can say, of minerals such as calcium and phosphate. Now, cells of the bone include osteoblasts, which are the cells responsible for building our bones. There are also osteoclasts, which are cells responsible for breaking down bone. There is also osteocytes, which are, which are mature bones, which are mature bone cells from, from trapped osteoblasts. So they are osteoblasts and they become trapped uh, in their own matrix forming osteocytes. You also have osteoprogenitor cells, which are cells that essentially become osteoblasts. There are, there are also cells that are made from our bone marrow, such as our, such as our immune cells, but we won't talk about that here. Now let's draw another, the same cross section of the long bone with the medulla. Now let's see how these uh, cells that we just talked about actually make up the bone. So looking at compact bone here, we have osteocytes, which are the mature bone cells. Remember, they, they become osteocytes when the osteoblasts are trapped within the matrix. Then on the very outside are the actual osteoblasts, which are cells that are building the bone, secreting matrix. Again, when these osteoblasts become trapped in the bone matrix, they actually become osteocytes and form the compact bone. Surrounding the compact bone altogether is a layer called uh, the periosteum. Now, the periosteum is separated into a fibrous layer and a cellular layer, which is the layer where we find the osteoprogenitor cells and osteoblasts. Surrounding the periosteum are the blood vessels, which penetrate the bone through canals and uh, which allows it to supply the inside of the bone. It is important to know that the bone itself does not actually have any pain fibers, but the periosteum does. Now let's zoom more closer to the compact bone and spongy bone area to look at, to look at how these uh, how bone is organized in a, uh, from a different angle. So here again is a spongy bone, which is the inner bone, and then we have the outer compact bone, the hard bone. 
Surrounding the compact bone is the, sorry, the bone altogether is a periosteum, which is pain sensitive. Remember, and uh, surrounding the periosteum are the blood vessels, the arteries and veins. And the arteries and veins can penetrate inside the bone to supply the inner bone as well. The blood vessels travel uh, from the outside to the inside of the bone through ca um, canals. Now remember, the compact bone is mainly made up of trapped osteoblasts, which are the osteocytes. They are actually organized into an osteon, which are the functional units of compact bone. If we pull out one of these osteons, we can find this central canal, which houses blood vessels. And this is how the bone stays nourished. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video on an introduction to the skeletal system and the structure and an anatomy of the bone, the long bone especially. Thank you.